Not as much cloud cover around as we've had over the last 24 hours. You'll notice, especially north of the Tampa Bay area, got a lot of blue out there. And that's because a high pressure ridge, which has provided us with our easterly wind, has sunk just a little bit further south in response to some uh, weather systems moving to the north of that. So I think we're going to be in line for perhaps a a little earlier onset of the showers later in the day because the heating will occur a little faster. Uh, quiet conditions across the area right now. We have a little bit of cloud cover out there producing some light sprinkles. Other than that, things are quiet. High pressure builds south. We see this easterly wind flow continuing today. Showers build in inland areas and then drift back toward the coast as they die out. Does that sound familiar? It should. Same sort of situation we have had over the last several days. The only difference being that the high has sunk a little further south. The winds might be just a little bit lighter today. So consequently, the sea breeze might be encouraged to move a little further inland. So those areas in, say, Hardy and DeSoto County that maybe haven't seen as much rainfall as areas closer to the interstate have seen may get their day today. We're looking at a sun cloud mix throughout the afternoon. Afternoon thunderstorms, pretty good chance of that. And slightly lower wind speeds, but the sea breeze will be more effective in moving a little further inland. Water temperatures in Gulf and Caribbean waters are warm enough to support tropical development. And in fact, some longer range computer models suggest we may just see that very thing as we head into next work week. We are looking at this area particularly with a 20% chance of development over a five-day period, according to the Hurricane Center. And we're seeing some clusters of storms already building in the Western Caribbean. Uh, the forecast is for the sheer, the tearing winds aloft that are real enemies to the development of these systems to kind of relax a little bit and allow for the systems to further develop. In fact, there's another one it's looking fairly healthy this morning, moving on a direction that should take it towards Central America. That area also has about a 20% chance off the coast of Africa of developing over a five-day period. If you look at the sheer values, these ripping winds aloft on this map, redder is better for tearing tropical systems to pieces. So the more red you see, the less likely you are to see shower and thunderstorm development and building into tropical systems. Now, eventually, the winds are forecast over the Gulf waters to have more blue than reds and yellows. Right now, we have plenty of shear aloft, and that's why we haven't seen too much in the way of tropical development, despite the fact that we've had some pretty active weather in the Gulf with lots of clouds. But as I said, that may change the beginning of next work week. We'll keep an eye on it. Should something develop, it's likely to drift away from the state of Florida. But too early to tell. We'll keep an eye on it. Daytime highs near 90. Rain chances decent right into the weekend at about 40 to 50%. Back to you.